Next in our countdown, we take you to the Louisiana Bayou, where fall arrives with a little voodoo in the dark and cryptic underworld of Scream Number Three. Within the gated confines of Necropolis 13 in Baton Rouge, fire dancers and their voodoo queen conjure up a spell sinister enough to wake the dead. Spirits of the underworld, awaken! Dude, there's a guy coming out of the ground! He came out of a grave! Zombies coming out of the ground? See that in the movies, you don't see that live action. But this is no zombie movie illusion. The walking dead of the necropolis really are crawling their way up out of the ground. It looks just like a real grave, but actually underneath is an access tunnel that the actor comes out of. <laughs> With the dead now awakened, the only way out is for visitors to warily wind their way through a macabre maze of tombstones and crypts. They'll come from the walls. <laughs> they will come from the ground. They'll come from above you. <laughs> I guess you get to know your friends better when they're scared, you know, and they're stepping on you, and you know when they're going to throw you under the bus. <laughs> But it's not until visitors reach the crypt of the vampire that the loudest screams rattle the bayou. Oh my. Oh. Ah! When visitors come face to face with the flying vampire. You definitely don't expect that one. And they just go running off. They just, just pee in their pants. Who knew a sideways scissor lift would be the voodoo magic behind scream number three? Ah! 